We can only speculate, Keith, as to what the managers say, are saying in the dressing room at half time. But uh, Osorio, he, he changed things at half time mm. against Germany. But they were one up. I mean, it's a very different scenario now in, in fact that, that they're still looking for that lead goal against uh, Brazil. So do you think from a Mexican point of view it'll be more of the same? I think they'll drop deeper, maybe the way that I anticipated to start the game, 15 yards deeper, mainly because of Marquez playing central midfield. How long he will last, I'm not so sure, but drop into those deeper areas, frustrate, push them into wide areas, and once they get there and they win it back, They've, they've shown they have the pace, the energy, the aggression mm. to go forward and cause Brazil problems on the counter-attacks. So that would be my ploy of action for, from a Mexican point of view. And, uh, you know, when we're dealing with the great teams, Hope, we always expect them to have another gear to shift into. And, uh, but Brazil will have to up the tempo a little bit in the second half, won't they? And I believe Brazil will up the tempo. Um, I think we're going to see more opportunities on goal, uh, more individual brilliance from players like Neymar, um, it, it falls back on, on Mexico and what they're going to do. I don't think Mexico plays their best football when they drop mm -hmm. into their own half to defend. They are a pressing team, and that's when you see the counterattacks. That's mm -hmm. when you see their opportunities on goal. So it's going to be difficult because do they have the lengths to continue to mm -hmm. press for the next 45 minutes? We don't know, but I do expect more chances from Brazil. Yeah, just, just on that point, Richie, do you think the onus is actually now on Brazil to change things? That Mexico will be quite happy once the energy levels, they can keep the energy levels up there. They'll keep things going as they are. I think Brazil, uh, Mexico would be pleased with more elements of their performance in the first half. But as well, I think psychologically as well, if you look at the, the bigger picture here, this is a scenario Mexico have been in tournament after tournament mm, yeah. and, and they haven't gotten any further. So if, if there's a spell of pressure that they come under in the second half, which I believe absolutely there will be, if they can see the goal first, that, that how are they collectively going to react to that rather than think, oh, here we go again. Is this us falling at this hurdle again and going no further? Um, will they be able to play in a way that was consistent with the pre-game comments from all the players, which wasn't about you know, the burden of expectation or the weight of previous generations' failures. It was, well, this is an opportunity. This is a chance for us to do something that hasn't been done, rather than sit there and go, well, this is Mexico, we go no further. So if they concede... The reaction psychologically as much as football-wise as well would be fascinating to watch. OK, well, we have to remember that Mexico have only reached the quarterfinals of the World Cup when they were the hosts, host, I should say, of the tournament. 1970, what a wonderful World Cup that was. And, of course, 1986. So 